Hey guys, it's me bringing you my week five match versus Ashton and the Halifax Sun Tails. Um, they are sitting three to one, I believe. We're sitting four and oh. And let me just speak five. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's week five. Okay. And I think believe that's the record. He might. Yeah, he's three and one, and we're four and oh. And there's no team builder, but it's basically it's Specs Lele, Life Orb, three attacks, Greninja, Low Kick, Going Dark, Dark Pulse, uh, Physically Defensive Rocky Helmet, Zapdos, Choice Scarf, Roserade, uh, Dragon Dance, Tyrantrum with Rocky MZ, and then Physically Defensive Delmise. And that, that's basically it. And we're going to flip sides because we don't want to be on this side. Uh, there. There we go. And I was playing on mobile for fun fact. Um, but anyway, that's irrelevant. So, his team is really weak to Lele on Bleed Preview. Uh, it's also weak to Greninja, but I didn't want to lose Aurora. His Aurora was a very scary lead on, my, on their part, on his part. <laughs> um, I needed something that could deal with it. So, I decided to bluff Scarf Lele. Because obviously he's not going to stay in and take a sidekick because it's just straight up like this. So he's going to swap into Skarm. I decided to click sidekick and bluff Scarf. Uh, not really bluff Scarf because I have to hit from the damage. You can tell him specs. And we get a 51, we only get 55, so it's a dirty roll, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, you have to go. Okay. You have to go high dragon. And I can basically. Basically, I win this trade 100%. I can swap into Dark Pulse just fine, but he knows I'm Specs. He knows I have Choice Lock. So, the situation is, my Dark Pulse swap-ins, I have one. I have Greninja that swaps into Dark Pulse. Draco, I have nothing to swap into Dark Pulse, uh, Draco. And I'm, I guess, hypothetically speaking, forced to swap because I'm locked into Psychic. But that's not the scenario. Um, okay. That's not the scenario. I have more Psychics than he has more than Dracos. Therefore, I can spam Psychic because I know he's had, I know he's Choice Scarf because I just knew it was, and because he clicked Draco, and I would have uh, Dark Pulse anyway if he went for it. So that's just a scenario. I don't know if you really can understand, but I get it because I have more Dracos and I have more Psychics than he has Dracos, and Draco is I don't swap into the, the Draco, so I just decided to stay in. Basically, I forced him to swap. Uh, so I just to go for Psychic again, and he brings in Slurry where it reveals that he can take it. He, gets, he goes for Skull, gets a burn. So yeah, it's annoying because I'm more physical based, but it's fine. I predict Snorlax is come in, I go for Low Kick, but it's going not as much as I would like. It would have been into a KO, or actually it would have straight up Oko had it not been burnt, but it's okay. I just go for Low Kick again, no reason to predict. No reason whatsoever. I feared he'd sag, but... Uh, Grin is burnt here, it's not as useful, I just have to go for some spikes. Some sludge bombs, which is helping me a lot, because I get another spike up. So I get two spikes up, yeah, I'll just go for synthesis, I'm like, okay, that's fair, because I died of burn anyway. Uh, Lele comes in, it pressures in, if, I believe he's gonna go slower bro, so I opt to click Moonblast, I think, yeah. I click Moonblast, and I predict Venusaur to come in, so I go Zapdos, because I actually don't have a really good pivot in for Venusaur anymore. But I have to go Zapdos for potential para. Uh, we get it on the first discharge, so that's nice. He goes for Leech Seed. So, this Venusaur is really annoying for me to handle. But I have to go Lele here. On, so, I just get rid of it. Um, slow down. Slow down. Um, I go for I go Lele because it pressures the Venusaur, basically forces it out. And I don't think he was going for Sludge Bomb there, so. Which I guess he actually could have. Because, I mean, I roost off the damage, so. I don't know. Uh, that was really risky, but I didn't die one hit anyway, so. Uh, and then, biggest pair is anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, Psychic here, again, I predict Hydreigon to come in, because, I mean, you don't want to sack Slowbro. He also go for Dark Bulls. I knew if he went for Draco, I'd live, and I can roost off and live the next ones, and I can saw him out. And if Dark Bulls, I can easily saw him out. So, I just click Roost here. But I know I'll have another one, so I just go Toxic here. And again, I know he's Choice Scarf, so he can't go for Draco here. So I shop to click. I believe I click Roost. Yeah, I click Roost. And he goes this thing, so I'm like, well, crap. That's annoying. 
because this Aurora is kind of threatening, but I mean, Zapdos was my response for it. So he also start, he starts going for Calm Mind, which I thought was really cool. I misclick here and go for Doxic. I will be real, I misclick, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for, uh, I believe, Heat Wave, I think I'm going to go for. I don't recall 100%. But I guess I have to go Zelmize here after seeing the damage. And I know we'll leave another th Thunderbolt, but I figured he has something for it, which he obviously does, which it doesn't matter. Uh, Zelmize was not important at this point. Uh, he goes Venusaur. I go Zapdos. Zapdos is allowed the least. I go for Roost to get my health back. He probably just goes, no, he goes Sludge Bomb, which is fine. I Roost again. I don't want to get Parrot here. I, um, Poison, but he can obviously go Felicity, which is better for me. I go Tyrantrum. He goes for Sludge Bomb, that's 30, doesn't do much. I give a Dragon Dance once. He goes for Gig Drain, it does a lot. Okay. So here. So here. Tyrantrum, it can get a KO. But right after he gets a KO, Hydreigon comes in, click Start Pulse. If, and he didn't get Parrot. So if he gets Parrot here, there's two, there's two situations. He gets fully paired, I get a second Dragon Dance up, I win the game. And, pause it right after I get second Dragon Dance. Because I have to go for Dragon Dance. Because I can't win the game anyway. Unless I get a second Dragon Dance up because it's Twarify Dragon. And, I can't, I mean, he also could para. He can get fully paired, it's like a 30% chance I think. Or, another situ situation is he swapped stacking something else to it. And he didn't swap, and I guess he could trade off on that, and uh, he killed. That's annoying. I go Lele. I think it comes down to uh, 50 50s. I go Rose Raid. I don't know what I was predicting there, but it's fine. I would predict Venusaur to come in, I think. Yeah, I go for Extensory just a lot. I could Extensory again, but... I opt to go for the Lele. Because it's some more pressure. Focus Blast, 2 AK on this, I don't care. Venusaur's weakened to the point if I land one Focus Blast, I kill Venusaur. I miss fun. Like, well, if I land this one, I got it. Then I miss second Focus Blast, and he gets synthesis up. So it's it's, it's looking bad, for real. Uh, Rose Raid uh, can Sludge Bomb through. Uh. Um. Anyway, Sludge Bomb, I need to get him to get Para, which he did, so he helps go to Hydreigon. So I just have him to click Sludge Bomb again. I'm spamming Sludge Bomb at this point. No reason to click anything else. The Poison, and then I, I got a high roll here. So that's annoying for him, but I, I think I just spam. No, I don't, I don't swap to Lele, because I don't think Sludge Bomb killed in this range, because I'm pretty sure it was all this at this point. I think it was all this, I don't 100% remember. I go for Moonblast, KOs, KOs that, he goes high Dragon, I'm just guessing he's gonna Dark Pulse, which he has a Dark Pulse Fungi at this point, I think, for him to win. I roost off, he can still Dark Pulse flinch me, I'm still in range. And I get Discharge off, because why roost at this point, there's no point, it's risking just nothing really. But Discharge comes in, I KO Venusaur, and I win with 3-0. So, really good match. Um, drink my water. Um, really good match, but Lele wishes a lot for him to deal deal with, and and the Zero War set was really cool. Um, who he, he had this ass afterwards? He had it, uh, had Grass Z with it. Basically, it was just meant to break through hip out on, which was, I guess, my best response for Zorora. But I didn't, uh, yeah. Hippo was my best response for Zorora, but I didn't want Hippo just for Zorora, which it would be. Because outside of that, it really didn't do anything. I think it's Curse Lax. I can wore it out. But it wasn't worth it to me. So I left Hippo out. So Zorora was kind of expendable. Uh, I mean, it did pressure me, sort of because I actually didn't break through it very well. But once the Toxic off, it wasn't that big of a deal. And so we moved to 5-0, and they moved to 3-2, and two, and we're still first in the- yeah, we're still first in the league at this point. So we take these, and 
we'll see you guys in the next battle.